Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. And uh, hello, welcome, greetings, and uh, we're here for another review. As always, uh, another food review because it is food that I am indeed reviewing. Uh, most people would consider this to be food, and I do too. It's from Arby's. Um, good old Arby's. I haven't reviewed Arby's in a little while, about a month perhaps. But Arby's still exists, they're still readily available, and they're still pumping out new and exciting products to review, uh, for me to review at least. The latest creation that they, they have out is the Smokehouse series. Uh, it's a session of selection of sandwiches, you may say, that are, uh, well, they're Smokehouse. I just said that because it's a, it's a, they're being fancy, that's all there is. But this is their Smokehouse Pork Belly Sandwich. All right. Now, if you can't tell, it is composed of mostly pork belly. But what it is, it's smoked pork belly strips. Um, here's a good view of the sandwich, actually. First of all, it comes on a little bun. Following that, of course, has smoked pork belly strips. Um, a nice slice of cheddar cheese, uh, followed by some fried onions, barbecue sauce, and then on the bottom it's slathered with some excellent, wonderful, delicious mayo that obviously won't, you know, do any harm for the, the sandwich at all, um, but I shouldn't say it like that. It'd be great if the cheese wasn't this stringy, that'd be wonderful, seems like they actually intentionally did that to kind of tie it to the box so it doesn't move in transit. It's pretty smart of them to pack it like that, actually. Hold it down with the cheese like that. All right, anyway, so the what it is, essentially, the, the pork belly, if you're not familiar with it, is, uh, as Arby's says on their website, it's fancier and better bacon. Um, that's how they describe it. It just comes in these big slabs. Uh, you can see right there just comes in these big slabs and of course it's, well, it's pork um, we're just gonna try it we'll let you know how it tastes and uh, that'll be that so it's the smokehouse pork belly sandwich from Arby's going in One more bite. Get this in the bag here. I am quite thankful, actually. For the fact that they included napkins, um, I, I really am because it's a messy sandwich, has a lot of liquid dripping off of it, and uh, it's going to be a messy eat should you wish to get this sandwich, um, because there was just oil pooling in the box there. I was worried it was going to start dripping out onto my onto my suit, um, which it didn't thankfully, but you know it was starting to get there, and uh, definitely recommend you get some napkins laid down as a little base on your suit, which surely you do wear, and, uh, you know, that's that's first first and foremost to touch upon there. Now, secondly, in terms of what it actually tastes like, there was one thing that really caught me off guard with this, um, and in a good way, I, I mean, um, and that was the tenderness of that pork belly. I mean, just how 
tender it was. This is, I'm not going to lie, in terms of the, the, the pork products, it was the most tender I've ever had. Um, very, very surprising there. See, I saw these two strips of the, the pork belly, and it was just two, uh, on this sandwich. And the edges of it were, you know, they were, uh, they were smoked, you know, it looked like they were, the edges were a little, you know, crispy, a little hard to touch. What didn't seem soft at all, it seemed like I would bite in, and it might actually be tough and chewy, you know, that's how I saw it. I bite in, and my teeth just effortlessly slide right through it, no chewing needed whatsoever. And it's just a very surprising feeling. When you bite in, you expect it to have this tough resistance to it, and instead your teeth just slide right through it effortlessly, like a hot knife through butter. Um, exactly like that. It was very, very surprising just how tender that was. And that is a very, uh, very strong compliment to Arby's in that regard, um, to have uh, some fast food quality meat that actually has that type of tenderness that you would really find in a real smokehouse like that. Uh, and in a professional grade establishment uh, that is a very admirable quality of their food and uh, my compliments to the to the chef you know but uh, they did a good job with, with that at least now here's the drawback we know it's extremely tender that's great what you also need to be aware of however is that this pork belly is also extremely fatty all right the portion in this pork belly that I received of fat to meat, I'd say it was around, I'd say it was probably around 70% fat, 30% actual meat there, actual pork. Um, the majority of it was just fat, and perhaps that's the reason why it was so tender. But the meat itself was tender too, don't get me wrong, so I actually did do a great job cooking it. But you have to realize though that it is very, very fatty. Um, and that fattiness, some people will take it as an excellent quality. Others will say, oh, there's, there's a heart attack for lunch right there. Uh, you know, so it all comes down really to personal preference there. But it is very, very fatty. And you just need to be aware of that going in. All right. Now, that being said, the onions themselves offer, they, you know, they offer a little bit of a crunch. Um, you know, they are pretty salty, the onions themselves are. They do have a little bit of a, a flavor there. Um, the American cheese, I thought I was going to expect more from that, honestly, the American cheese. I thought it would be a bit more flavorful, and the only thing the American cheese did is it got glued to the side of the box, and it was a real hassle trying to pull it out. Uh, so that was a problem there. You know, the American cheese, I think it's there mostly for, uh, you know, for decorative purposes, and, uh, you know, hey, what, what can you do with that? Um... As for the uh, the barbecue sauce, the barbecue sauce does add a, a pleasant flavor. Um, it, it, the barbecue sauce in this sandwich is more of a sweet barbecue, um, so it does add a nice sweetness to it, which really does complement the pork belly um, and the, the the fattiness thereof. Overall, though, I think it's a, a decent tasting sandwich um, for what it is, the simplicity of it, um, the quality of the, the pork belly, the tenderness of it. And the way that the barbecue sauce does complement it is very nice. Uh, the one real drawback of it that I really have to say should be gone is the mayo. I know Arby's has a tendency where, you know, they just put mayo on every damn sandwich of theirs because that's just what Arby's does. But uh, the combination of, of the mayo and the barbecue sauce really just doesn't work. It's like two, you know, it's just two things, two sauces that really just don't go and... Uh, you know, you just need to be made aware of that, that they really don't work, and uh, perhaps I'd ask for it with no mayo. I think it's a much more enjoyable sandwich there. But overall, I think it's okay. I think it's passable, and, uh, you know, I think it's a standard sandwich from Arby's. I think it has its positives and its negatives, so I think it really falls in the middle, and I think it's a standard, edible sandwich, and if you want to give it a try, uh, you know, you, you can feel free to. You can do so at your heart's content. Price-wise for this was $5.49, a little bit on the expensive side. I think this is more of a, simply a $5 sandwich, but hey, we're arguing over 50 cents here, so I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Um, that being said, given how it tastes, given the price, what am I going to be rating the Smokehouse Pork Belly Sandwich from Arby's out of 10? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to give this sandwich, you know, I'm going to have to give it a 7.0 flat out of 10. Uh, due to the fact that, you know, it has its benefits, 
given you know the tenderness of the pork belly, uh, how it complements itself with the barbecue sauce, you know that's great. It also has its drawbacks too, you know the mayo which doesn't work at all, the cheese which is simply really there and may only cause a nuisance, and the messiness of the sandwich as well. Um, it has its benefits and its drawbacks, that's why it has what it has, so the two kind of cancel each other out. Uh, my rating scale gives it therefore an average rating. Still though, if you want to, give it a go. Um, again, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the tenderness, at least, of the pork. And uh, that's really all that I have for you. Arby's, that's what I got, and uh, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching, and take care.